Well, we live in very critical times. Uh, we live in a multifaceted global crisis. Yeah. The various aspects of the crisis are interconnected. And uh, the great challenge of our time is uh, to build uh, a sustainable future, a future in which uh, nature's inherent ability to su sustain life is not impeded. Mm. So we have to work with nature. You will, we have to respect her, to cooperate with her. And uh, the best way of doing that, in my view, is by uh, building and nurturing communities. I've, over the last few years, and this is not in my books, this is more recent thinking that, that has impressed me, uh, the importance of community. Uh, there are various reasons why communities are so important. One, when you talk about sustainability, sustainability is a property of a community. Ecosystems are sustainable communities of plants, animals and microorganisms. And at all levels of life, nature sustains life by nurturing communities. So from that point of view, you know, forming communities is extremely important. Now, when we turn to the challenges and the obstacles uh, you know, against uh, building a sustainable future, then uh, one of the major obstacles is the obsession of our uh, politicians and business leaders with economic growth. They, they have this illusion which is really, uh, you know, stupid and which is, is really insane that perpetual growth on a finite planet would be possible. That's mm. obviously nonsense. And so the way th they want to uh, maintain continual economic growth is by um, inciting us to excessive consumption. And they tell us, you will be happy when you buy my product. And there's no other way you can be happy. We have to buy products, buy and buy mm. and consume and consume. So the best antidote against that is to find happiness in human relationships rather than material possessions. In other words, in community. So that's the second reason to build communities for a more meaningful life, a more sustainable life. Mm -hmm. And the third reason, third main reason is that what we need to learn now is not new information. We need to learn that too. But uh, we need transformative learning. We need to learn in a way that transforms us as people, our value systems, our beliefs, our spiritual outlook. And in my experience of uh, 40 years of teaching, uh, my experience has been that the most powerful transformative learning happens in a learning community. So when you learn together, when you form a community, this is what I'm trying to do with my Capra course. Although it's not face to face, it's online, but still it's a global learning community. And so for that reason, also building community is extremely important. Mm. So I would say to, to young people, <clears throat> we need to realize that Thinking in terms of networks is not something that I need to teach them. They do that already because of social media, social networks. Everybody knows how it feels to be in a network. But uh, what, they don't, what they don't necessarily do is build learning communities. And, and that is what I would mm. suggest. Mm. Thank you. Also, of course, when you are in a community, you are not alone. You know, you can share experiences, you can share grief, you can share joy, you can share, share learning experiences, excitement. So for all these reasons, building community is extremely mm. important. Mm. And what about the notion of the self? You talk a lot about, or you, you mention the notion of I as an emergent property and yeah, not see, even a real thing. Well, uh, you see, what, what is the self? What, what am I? Well, I am, uh, I am Austrian. I grew up in Austria. So I have cultural relationships with that part of the world. I'm a scientist. So I have intellectual relationships with uh, 
physicists like Heisenberg, with biologists like Brian Goodwin, Umberto Maturana, Pierluigi Luisi. I have, uh, I'm a tennis fan. I play tennis. You know, I love Roger Federer and, and you know, Steffi Graf in the past and various other tennis champions. So I have relationships with them. I have family relationships. I have relationships with friends. I have genetic relationships with my ancestors. So what I am really is a sort of a node within a network of relationships. That's what the self is, a node of relationships. So to expand the self is to expand Ex relationships. Absolutely. Expand relationships. And, and that, again, is what you do in community. <laughs>